Guys, welcome back to another video of Robo CNC. I'm Marcel. Uh, today, the last section of the uh, the Z-axis build. Um, I'm gonna place and align the techno motor to the Z-axis. Do some stuff over here. And even better than that, since the Z-axis is now done, I have posted all the drawings and the parts list um, online. So check the description box below, follow the full info link and you will find everything. Hope you liked the video. Bye for now. So this is the techno motor spindle that we're going to use. And as you can see, it has uh, two shiny surfaces, which are machined to be square with the spindle. The only thing that's not machined is this plastic cover, so I'm uh, going to remove this for measuring purposes only. Of course, you will understand that it's really important that this spindle will be mounted uh, square on the CNC machine. Um, so that's why Technomotor has these uh, machined surfaces. Uh, so it makes mounting for us quite easy. So there's the noisemaker. Well. well, to make sure this uh, spindle is mounted um, square to the CNC machine, we have to do some measurements. And I'm going to do so on this granite surface plate. And I'm going to use the height gauge you see in the back uh, only with a test indicator. So the mounting plate uh, we're going to use is this one. And the drawings uh, can be found if you follow the full info link. Um, the spindle is going to be placed on this mounting plate. And the reason for that is that I want to be able to mount different machines uh, like a tangential knife or uh, maybe a vinyl cutter or whatever. I want to mount uh, multiple things to the CNC router. So if I make sure that this plate is aligned to the CNC machine and whatever is on the plate is aligned to this uh, mounting plate, then I can switch over machines uh, as I wish. So as you see, there's still a lot of play um, so now it's time to make sure that uh, this plate is straight to the granite surface. So this is the dial test indicator we're going to use. And we're going to place it on this, uh, this height gauge. I will see if I can uh, find some links to similar, uh, similar tools in the description box below. Since the granite surface plate is really flat and the bottom of this height gauge is really flat, um, <coughs> we can this way check uh, if the, the, the mounting plate is straight, since the techno motor is laying on its machine surface on this granite plate, the techno motor must be straight. So if we put this test indicator to zero and we slide it from one side to the other side, we could check if the mounting plate is straight to the techno motor.
two hours later. So eventually I got it within uh, about one hundredth of a millimeter, um, over two hundred millimeter length, which is also the travel of the Z-axis. So it's all mounted straight and as you can see there's a key, a woodruff key in the plate and there's slots in the front plate of the Z-axis. The bolts that are used uh, to mount the techno motor can uh, easily fit in these holes, so that's where these were for. So the techno motor should uh, now be aligned to the mounting plate and the mounting plate has uh, an alignment to the front plate using the keys. Um, so basically I could take this off and place it back to the z-axis quite easily or change it out for a different, uh, different spindle or a different uh, tool that I want to mount on this, uh, this router. Of course we still have to check if it's all uh, really true that it is, uh, that it is uh, true and square. Um, which we will do eventually, but uh, since I do not have any electronics to drive the stepper motor, I will be doing this later on. The last thing on this uh, z-axis is the sensor here. Um, it's an uh, NPN uh, proximity switch that tells us the home position of the z-axis. So when I tell the machine to home, the z-axis will go up until this sensor senses the front plate um, and then it says, okay, we're home, call it z0. Well, this sensor uh, is now placed in this position with a small metal block that, is, that I uh, mounted using these two small holes. In the new drawings, which I will uh, provide if you follow the full info link uh, down in the screen, um, these holes are gone, this metal block is gone and the sensor position uh, has shifted to the front. So basically now in the new drawing this sensor should activate on the front plate, um, which, uh, which is also uh, quite possible to do. So guys, that's it for the Z-axis. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section below or follow the full info link. Try to find out if uh, somebody else has uh, already uh, uh, posted this question. Um, again, the drawings uh, can be found. Um, I get a lot of emails uh, from you guys uh, um, who want one-on-one uh, -on -one help uh, or want different drawings or want me to send Fusion files or Autodesk Inventor files. Sorry guys, cannot help everybody uh, uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So uh, just download the stuff I do, um, uh, share for free um, and use it as you will. Uh, but um, that's all I'm going to share uh, from this machine. So, hope you liked the video. If so, please uh, leave the thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Find us on the other social media like uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Because as you can see, I've already been filming uh, the Y-axis. So, that will be up soon. Thanks for watching.